colder weather has started to settle in. We have traded in our bright fall leaves with the first snowfall of the year. The days are getting shorter and my days are filled with a lot more cozy crafting as I finish up the spinning projects I've been working on for the past few months and start working on a simple cozy sweater for myself with some chunky undyed yarn. Autumn always reminds me of the things that I've forgotten about over the summer, like lovely teas, baking, and blankets on the couch. The plants have all just about finished outside, and some have even come in for the winter. This week I was absolutely determined to finish the castle painting that I've been working on for a year and a half. I have shown this painting in a couple of videos before and I was determined that I wouldn't show it again unless it was to finish it. I have been feeling like I need to wrap up projects, use up my yarn stash, and almost have a sort of restart in the house. I think that's partly because we've sort of come out of the fog that comes from having a baby. My daughter is 21 months old today, and we have sort of started to round the bend where our days are starting to feel more and more normal. It's making me realize and remember all of the little things that I'd like to get tidied and tightened up to where they were before she was born. This was the biggest painting that I think I've ever done, and it was a little nerve-wracking to go along and not be sure if it would work out, but I'm so glad that I stuck with it, and I'm really happy with the finished result. I love the balance of texture, brush marks, and detail, and the focus of value over color. My husband has also been excited to see it come together as we share an office, so he sees it every day and has seen it slowly, slowly come together. I have also been trying to keep my focus on slowing down so that I can actually get more done and also just be a happier person. I do think so far that it's been helping. I've started prioritizing the things that are important and letting go of the things that aren't. I've been trying to take the pressure off of feeling like I always need to be cleaning or be productive in some way. 
It's only been a week so far and it hasn't been perfect, but it has been helping. I've noticed that many of the other people that I follow on YouTube are saying similar things, like that they are trying to take some pressure off of themselves and that they're trying to be easier on themselves right now. It makes me think of living seasonally and I feel like this is partly what fall and winter are for. They are the time to do less and rest more, to take care of yourself, to get through a challenging season, and to surround yourself with things that bring you comfort. And this is the finished painting. I am so pleased with how it turned out. I really didn't know the whole time if this would be just a learning experience or something that I would want up in the house. I'm so glad that it could be both. I feel like I learned a lot while working on this painting and I'll be glad to have it in our living room. One of my favorite things about the painting is the little details that you see when you get up close to it. Little textures and shifts of color the subtleties of paint playing on the page. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful week.